Hey friends, welcome back to OG Universe. Thank you so much for stopping by and we're continuing our look at the McFarland Toys DC Multiverse Code Label Crisis on Infinite Earths Figure Wave. So we did the Earth 2 Superman. That was our first review. Check out my DC Multiverse playlist for my thoughts and opinions on that figure. But now we're moving on to Kid Flash. And Kid Flash, man, this figure, it's pulling on my heartstrings because it's very sentimental to me. But it's got some glaring defects that man just kind of make you want to swear <laughs> i'll say that this is my fourth time recording this video i'm gonna try and keep the swears down to a minimum but man anyways i might go on a bit of a rant so be forewarned i get a little explosive but i'm gonna keep it cool because like, i don't want to record this video for a fifth time but i just see we've got some comic books behind uh, the action figure i usually don't do this but i think it was kind of important to have these comics out let me know in the comments below. Do you like having these comics behind when I do videos or do you want just the action figure in the wall of the Fairlane toys behind us? So the reason I have these comics, the New Teen Titans, that was the very first comic book I really dug and started collecting as a young adult, teenager kind of thing. And I collected a ton of the issues, probably like about 50 to 55, I remember. Gotta check, I still have them downstairs. But they really inspired me to collect. The stories were so damn good. The artwork was phenomenal. And for its time, back in the 80s, I had to hunt and hunt and hunt to get the back issues. Because when they first came out, I was really damn young and I didn't collect comics. I tried to read comics, but I didn't collect it. It got the hand-me-downs from my brothers. But this one, it's a special comic because I hunted, found as many as I could, just I thought, you know, these are the sidekicks of my favorite superheroes. They're just going to have a super team. And, you know, that's it. But man, it's so much more. It's a deep, kind of like an adult story, so to speak. But they fought challenges, came through strife. They bonded. And it wasn't like, oh, we're in trouble. We've got a couple of Justice League. No, we'll figure this out. Heck, we'll even take on the Justice League, which they did in issue number four. But that was real cool. And of course, we also got the first appearance of Deathstroke, the Ravager. We got Nightwing for the first time. And we got the Trigon series. We all this cool stuff. It was a comic that I think was ahead of its time, really. Because it came out back in the early 80s. And man, it still lives on today. Just to show how strong the testament of the Titans are, you got in all different forms. You got the kind of adult version of them in the Titans streaming service show, which is phenomenal. I really like it. Best costumes, hands down. Garland, you need to make some figures off that series. Then you got stuff like Titans Go, which is like ridiculous, but it's some of my nieces and nephews' favorite television. <laughs> they love that stuff. And I just like, well, I can't get into that. But it's interesting to see how diverse the Titans have become. And they're still going after like almost 40 years or even more than that when you look at, you know, the previous incarnation, which is like the kids club kind of thing. But they've been around a hell of a long time. And to get this Kid Flash, Kind of inspired by George Perez, you know, hitting those heartstrings. But let's see what we got in the package, what it came with, all that good stuff. So you got this packaging here, which is, of course, the standard, kind of a little bit bigger than your standard packaging, your Build-A-Figure packaging. You got some artwork there of Kid Flash by Scott Collins, which that was a George Perez trading card, because that would have been killer, but this one's still okay. You got the display stand as well. Now, I did pick this figure up in Canada for $29. Got that Platinum Edge card, you know, working it, getting that discount. Unfortunately, in America, this was $40 exclusively to McFarland Toy Store as well. Got a really nice shot of the monitor by George Perez. You got the pieces that go where, who comes with what, and the cross sell at the bottom. It's really funny. You got the Psycho Pirate there, and it's like Flash, kind of like a use a better artwork or something else that depicts well am i getting a flash character or am i getting psycho pirate you know what i mean yeah confusion whatever it's all good all good now you also get of course the build a figure pieces you got the legs of the monitor you got this gold that i'm not too crazy about i might do a repaint on that but it's really nice texturing on the legs you got these two little baby hands yeah i'm gonna say baby hands it also comes with hands on the figure that aren't that good all right, so on the figure, let's talk about the hands and let's get this out of the way. Might be a little ranting, might be a little bit, a little bit of uh, F-bonds, but we'll try and keep it clean, right? We'll try. Anyways, rant's going to start. Three, two, one, go. What the hell is going on with these hands? 
Now, I took these hands off the trigger, okay, because I found a solution to fix this problem. But as you can see, this hand won't go back on. I tried very hard, and if I pushed any harder, I'd probably break the pig. So I'm just going to take this on because it's on very lightly. It's off. Now this other hand. Seems a little small, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a little small. Let's take this guy's hand off too. All right. So the hands are off. I'm going to show you something here, guys. So these came off the exact same figure. No difference. No trickery or anything like that. We have two different size hands on the same action figure. I've never seen that. In the history of collecting figures, since I was a wee little lad, I've never seen this kind of shit. And what the hell happened? It's laughable now. I'm like, this is such a comical error that McFarlane, what the heck were you thinking? How did this get by the quality of control at McFarlane Toys? That's what I'm curious about. And I'd like to hear an answer. But how did this happen? Two different size hands, actually two different colors as well. Man, just a really big faux pas. Big mistake there. They dropped the ball big time. Don't worry, guys. Okay, the rant's over. These hands are gone. See you later. Never again. But I do have a solution for this, okay? Because we've got to have Flash, our kid Flash here with hands. He can't be without hands. That's ridiculous. So I went through my entire collection trying to find a red action figure that has red hands, okay? That will match this figure because this is a definitely unique kind of reddish orange. A lot of the figures had a really bright orange, or red, excuse me, or really dark. Didn't fit with this color scheme at all. So, unfortunately, I didn't want to take one hand off of the figure, then it wouldn't have a hand, and I didn't want to use those garbage hands. So, if you're going to buy this figure, you need to have this figure as well. That's Red Tornado. He's a gold label exclusive here in Canada to Walmart. That's where I picked it up. It's a killer figure. I definitely have to do a review because there's a lot of stuff I want to talk about with Red Tornado. But the Red Tornado figure came with two fisted hands and two sprawled out hands. And they're fantastic. They match up color wise to Kid Flash perfectly. In fact, let's put these hands on now. And you can switch these hands if you want to have two fisted hands on the character. Or you want to have, you know, two sprawled out hands. You can do that too. Pick your hands, right? It's your figure. So let's put these on. And they go on nice. No issues, no breakage, nothing going on there. We'll put this one sprawled out hand onto this pig. There you go. And there you go. You've got a Wally West Kid Flash that is much better, better proportions in those hands because those tiny hands were ridiculous. Anyways, we're not talking about hands anymore. No more hands. Just the goodness of this figure and what my thoughts are. And I really like this figure. It's capturing... You know, the nostalgia for the new Teen Titans, but it's also hitting on, this is a really damn good action figure. Do the swap, they have no problem. Now, the head sculpt. The head sculpt is very stern, not too playful. You know, sometimes, you know, Kid Flash is pictured kind of smiling, joking, but this is a stern Kid Flash from Crisis, right? From the Crisis, where Barry Allen passes away, but this dude is becoming the new Flash. So, I see this... Kid Flash Wally West as probably like, you know, a 19, 20 year old. I think a lot of people are kind of fixated with that. Oh, it should be a smaller body box. And that's cool. Your opinion, have it. Hey, it sparks conversation. That's what it does. But I really think this is a more suitable body box. But we'll talk about body box in comparisons down the road here. Let's just take a look at some of the details on the figure. Now, one thing I want you guys to be careful of, if you have this figure playing around with it, careful with these winglets here. Now, they are a softer material. They're not brittle by any means. But I just think excessive kind of movement of the head, you should kind of poke it in by accident and it should snap off. It could. I just want to play it safe. So what I would do is just grab the head by the chin and the hair, the back of the head, and just move around like so. All right. Now he also has these winglets on the boots. Now these boots are very shiny, glossy. And I think these are the same boots from that Target exclusive Flashpoint series that built Cyborg. Didn't get that flash because it was impossible to get here in Canada. And my cyborg is incomplete because I don't have legs for it. So i got to figure out a way. Guys, if you know any solution besides trying to hunt down a very expensive figure to get legs for cyborg, let me know in the comments because I need to finish that cyborg. Now, I know there's rumors of a new one coming out that's more in tune with this size because it's a giant size build a figure. It's very tall. But let me know. If you guys use any other set of legs that would fit appropriately for that version of cyborg, let me know, please. But let's get back to Kid Flash. So 
It's got a simple aesthetic as well. You know, it's using the Animal Man Booster Gold Blue Beetle Body Box to a great extent because it gives it that fluid motion. And a speedster, it's got to have fluid motion. It's got to be able to just, you know, strike a pose, go out, flap its arms ready to go, put that head in a good position, and you're off, right? It's got to be able to do that. And they use these spacer joints to really good effect. I mean, man, they just give them that extra range of motion, and it looks great. And, you know, it's all uniform. It's not a different shade of yellow. It's all uniform and looks great. Now, we talked about the simplicity of the costume. It doesn't have a raised logo. It's very simplistic, just like the Year 2 Superman logo. It's kind of like just stitched on, so to speak. And I'm okay with that. It's not a big deal, because that is a really old-style Superman. And I think if we're going to use that body box in the future for more Superman, it needs to be sculpted. Got to be contemporary. Got to be sculpted. That's the only contention I have with that figure. But I do like that figure quite a bit. Check out my review. It's in the playlist. Plug, plug, plug. Yeah. And this one, is, again, is just stamped on. Simple, simplistic, but it works for this figure. Overall, the colors are what my mind has always thought a Kid Flash color should be. Not too bright. Not too dulled out and muted. It just looks phenomenal. I really enjoy the look of this character, and of course, I took off those damn salted glasses when the hands came up. I'm bringing up those hands, damn hands of Ken. I'm sorry, I'll stop doing that, but man, those hands pissed me off anyways. Moving on. Yeah, it is a surprisingly good figure. I'm very happy the way he's turned out. Now, let's definitely compare him with some other figures from the DC Multiverse. Uh, actually, before we do that, let's run through his articulation, because uh, let's get this out of the way. So the articulation, you have a pretty good movement in the neck here. You have a side attitude going on. You got the nice spacer joint that gives you lots of fluid butterfly hinge. You do have the ball joint, bicep cut, double joint ratchet to the elbows, full articulation in the wrist, ball joint going on. Ab crunch, you can go back pretty decently, forward as well. He does have a ball joint at the waist, ball joints at the hips. You do have double joint ratcheted knees. Full toe articulation, everything else going on, rocker pivot, sculpted ball joints, very nice. So yeah, he is articulated extremely well. You can get him in some great flash movements. And yeah, he just looks damn cool. Really like that guy. So let's bring out his wave mate, and that was the Earth 2 Superman. And I like the height size comparison here. Definitely this Superman is a bigger body buck, which is phenomenal. Another amazing body buck. Really fluid articulation, and it stands up well to this. It's definitely an older version of Superman. It's probably like in his 60s, I bet. Maybe even late 60s. You never know. Kryptonians, you know, they don't crack, I guess. I don't know. He is showing some age, but man, it's not too crazy. But I like the height difference, and I like the, the body buck difference as well. Suits him. Now, moving on, we'll take a look at this guy here. Now, this is the one that I think a lot of people are thinking is the body buck they should have used. And this is that John Kent, Beast Boy, Nightwing from the Titans, body buck that's been used a lot. Also on the Jim Gordon Batman. And probably some more that I can't ring off the top of my head, but it's been used quite a bit. And I think it's, it works for Impulse perfectly. I love this Impulse figure. It stands out as one of the best in the Flash family for sure. And I'm really looking forward to that Max Mercury coming out soon as well. You know, as a mentor for Impulse Bart Allen. So that's going to be cool to have that figure finally. But I think that it suits his younger age, right? He's probably like 16, 17, maybe 18. This one, he kind of looks a little bit older because the body box is a little more, you know, a little bigger, so to speak, than a young teen who's 13 to 15 years old. So I'm glad they didn't use a tiny, young body box, anything like that. I really don't want that. Definitely like this body box. It suits the character quite well. And then one of the biggest things that this guy has that no other figure has. Why I didn't McFarlane Toys do this to Booster Gold and to Blue Beetle? You can do it. You have the technology. You have the power. Why didn't you use these transparent lenses on those figures? One day, hopefully one day. But man, it looks awesome. And it's just a trademark um, characteristic and appearance visually for Bart Allen Impulse. So I'm glad they didn't mess that up. But I like these two. I mean, you could have gone either way with the body buck. But I'm just liking this one. There's a little bit fluid, more fluid motion to it. But this one is still a great choice, and I do like it quite a bit as well. Now we'll take a look at this guy here. This is an older, more adult version of Wally West, where he got the power of Dr. Manhattan. This was during the speed metal 
that death metal, dark metal crisis thing that was going on a few years ago. And they finally made a ton of figures of them. And they're fantastic too. But I really like this one because of the color contrast, right? Simple swap. I do have the original one that's in like a, almost a brown and a red. Really love that figure. It's still packed away. <laughs> Not open. I haven't opened it. It's one of those things. Don't open some of my figures. But I kind of wish I did because I would have got another one for sure because I really like this body bug. A little dated in certain aspects, especially with the portholes for the lightning effects. I hate that because if you don't have them, you've got holes on his legs, on his arms. But it's cool to see these two guys together. The head sculpt on this one is phenomenal as well. It's painted extremely well. Hair looks fantastic. The eyes, the sternness, just beautiful. It's got the raised logo as well. Just really cool to see the growth of this character from a young, kind of late teens, maybe 20 year old to like a full-fledged family man here. And it's really cool. Love these two. And then let's take a look at some more of the flashes using this body buck. So they've used this body buck a lot. This is the reverse flash. Now, when I first saw these two as a young kid, I mean young kid, and I wasn't really able to read or anything like that, I thought, why are these two guys together? I thought he was a bad guy. But he's sporting his colors. Are they partners? Did he betray the flash? Oh my. All this intrigue, all this drama, young kid, couldn't even read. But those are the thought processes I had back then. And then, of course, you know, this guy is a serious threat to the Flash family. This is the reverse Flash, an incredibly cool character. We've only got this version and an Injustice version. I want to see more. I want to see some different takes on them. I know there's that, I think it was a new 52 version that we're getting as a Platinum Chase, which is ridiculous. We're getting that as a Platinum Chase. That's going to be one per case. That's going to really suck. That's going to be a hard one to find. Hopefully, I'm going to be able to secure it. I'm going to let my friends and my family, everybody know I want this figure. So hopefully, they see it, get it. You know, hey, let's spread the word. But this is a cool figure. I like the way these two guys look as well. And then, of course, we got to bring in one of the OG figures here. And that is the original Rebirth Flash. And I like this one for its time. It's a little dated, like I said. The proportions, it's really skinny. Kind of cartoony proportions, but you know, the head sculpt is awesome. You don't have these ported on, these lighting effects got the holes, so just keep those lighting effects on, I guess. But of course, there is that flashpoint target exclusive flash, which has the unmasked head. And that's like an iconic version of Flash, I think one of the best versions using this body bug. Hopefully, one day we'll secure it. You never know. But I like the way these two guys look together. And then I want to bring in this guy that we got recently and did a little bit of toy surgery and we swapped out the head and i'm kind of almost seeing this guy's a superboy you know he does have a smaller body block than a lot of the other superman the color scheme as well it's that lighter blue brighter red really bright yellow and i think with that superboy prime head sculpt on there it looks just awesome i love the way it looks so to see these two superboy and kid flash i think that's a cool looking pair and uh, yeah, you can have kind of fun with your display stands and your displays and kind of make whatever you want as your display. So there you go, guys. That's my thoughts on this Kid Flash. To kind of round things up, it's a phenomenal figure. It pulls on my heartstrings, my sentimentality for this kid, this kid Flash. And the fact that, you know, it's part of the comics that inspired me to get into collecting comics and building up this superhero world that... I collect and have a passion for so it's very important to me now if you're getting this figure you damn well need to get that red tornado to swap out the hands we're really disappointing that the hand issue that we bring up again which i promised i wouldn't but damn i i did really needed to have better quality control i'm hoping that psycho pirates and specter don't have these glaring issues i've seen some reviews on these entire figure wave and they don't even mention these hands which kind of mm, boggles my mind a little bit what's going on but this is a really big point of contention, and but it's easily fixed. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this long video. I appreciate it. You mean a lot to me, and I appreciate all the encouragement, the words, the, the comments, everything that you guys are throwing at me. It's really appreciated. And uh, stay tuned for more stuff. We got the DC Multiverse playlist, a lot of other videos in the pipeline already. If you want to check them out. And I'm starting to lose my voice because I've recorded this video four times already. But yeah, I appreciate you all. Have an awesome day and we'll see you soon. Take care, guys.